Water is a liquid, but when you heat it up enough and boil it, it evaporates and turns into a gas. It can also go the other way. So if you make it really cold by putting it in the freezer, it turns into ice. This is an example of water changing between a solid, a liquid and a gas which are the three common states of matter. Of course, I've just used water as an example and there are plenty of different materials you can use to talk about the changing states of matter in the classroom and different ways that you can explore them. Try starting with some different solids, liquids and gases and asking children to identify which is which and how do they know? Gases are a bit tricky to have on hand, but you can try using images instead or even balloons filled with just plain old breath or with helium. Remember to clarify that the gas is what's inside the balloon. The balloon itself is a solid. You could also ask children to look out of the window at the clouds. Clouds are vapor, which is classified as a gas. And if you wanted to challenge your students a bit more, you can talk about shaving foam and whether that is a solid liquid or gas, as it technically can fit into more than one category, which can be an interesting discussion point. You could even play a sorting game where you sort different images of materials into the three common states of matter. Then you can talk about temperature and how it affects matter. This PowerPoint presentation has some great examples of how temperature can transition matter between different states. There are also some easy and fun science experiments that you can do in the classroom. Like this one with chocolate, where children hold a piece of chocolate in their hand, sing the alphabet, and then open their hand to observe what happened to it. They can then talk about why they think that is. There's also a precipitation experiment, which you can do using a jar, hot water, a plate, and some ice cubes. Once children have a fairly good understanding of the different states of matter, they can test their knowledge using a quiz. This is a good way to consolidate learning. Of course, there are plenty more resources on the Twinkle website on the changing states of matter. So check out the links in the description below if you'd like to have a browse. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day.